I mean, you know, we've done long episodes before. It's just a one-off. That'll be totally fine. I think it's cool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> There's not much is left. I said Wilma. 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 Just Wilma. another W, I think. A fish called Willow. Sure. Wilo. Wilo. I mean, I don't know how you do it differently. Sure. Where's... Where's... Whoa, Wilma? what? Nope. Where's Wotus? <laughs> Wotus. <laughs> where's Wanda? Again, that movie's actually sad. All right. Production. Matt, look it up. here you are. Which movie? Oh, Milo and Otis. <laughs> Which one was that again? The one with the little pug and like the cat. But they did the dogs and cats are treated very poorly. Oh. It's like don't. It's a, it's a real bummer. Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. Right, you hit the. Um, you either hit the touch screen or like the start button. Or just, just hit hit B. B. Hit B. Hit B. You're fine. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. You only want to do left for this bumper, A for the right bumper, and that's your so ZR weird. and ZL will that's shake what you're the thing. Me, no, yeah. I You're fine. Uh, if you're you need to restart, you, you, you can. Oh, Matt, you're looking, you're looking at, you're looking at the, t the... Oh, yeah, um, Matt, you can look up at the TV if you want to. Whatever you want, though. It's no, fine. Like, this is more comfortable. Sure. Okay. Which, is, which is awkward, which is weird to say. <laughs> no, it's fine. Not. I mean, that's how you would have played the game originally. Yeah, I mean, I like... Yeah, it's kind of... I like playing... Um, I, I like using the game. Oh, yeah, if you hit A while Makuhita's poised to punch like that, he'll punch forward and he can punch the ball. Yes. I'm trying to strike a balance between giving like a reasonable advice and not giving too much advice. Uh, like, so you can't oh, be as good as me. Well, not even that. Just no, also like it's not really much of like a challenge or oh, anything. You're fine. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, right, that was my bad. That was my bad. Um, but that like I also like it's not really much of a challenge if I'm just like, oh wait, do this, do this. See, like, I welcome it because I never touch. Touch, you're good. Uh, you're good. Ooh, no, nice. I've never touched. Usually, Pokemon if it's flashing and it falls, it'll usually just give you the ball save. That's nice. Yeah. If you if you guys need to change the controls, you can. Um, that's just how I found it easy. To play. Honestly, for me, they're fine. You know, I never figured out. I never figured out until I think playing with you how the. Um, Man, how if you the, end up going out, ball, really, I am trying to aim towards the mark and trying to shift it over. Yeah, yeah, Matt, if you end up going out really early, you could also Lovely. give it a shot on Sapphire, because for some reason I always just have really bad luck on it. Yeah, we can also alternate, but once you do this, you then you can do Sapphire and I'll do Ruby. Yeah, that that's fine with me. I'll probably ask, also get closer to the amount of time we need. Sure. What is it that we would like? To hit A. See, oh. he's punching now. So. Oh. <laughs> So if you ever go by that area, you can get him to punch, and you can send him straight up to uh, Nuzleaf. Ooh, neat. Who will, uh, hmm. if you hit him enough times and then go over the bridge he makes, it'll give you an upgrade to a uh, Great Ball. Well, that counted ball for the uh, travel. Yep, you just have to, so you see those little white rectangles? Yeah. The one at the top right, like the one at the top of your section. So if you go up those letters to Evo, and you get the right white rectangle up there, that counts as a point towards Evo. Oh, I forgot And about you that. just need to basically get a letter, letter of each one in order to... You basically need to hit that re white rectangle at the top three times to make Evo oh. go. You're good, you're good. You have ball yeah. saver. Okay, I didn't see. See, oh, in the middle, good. it'll be lit up if you have it, and it won't be lit up if you don't. That's one thing that I'm like, I don't know if this is just a detail that's like... I'm just used to because I've played it so much, or if it's just like... Like, like it's a subtle detail. No, I recognize, but I also remember playing it from, like, when I was a kid. No, I just noticed that, like, I've had, like, you, you guys sometimes will be like, oh, God, and then I'm like, no, it's cool. You know, I'm just not paying attention to the audio, so I'm not okay. ever. Also, I, I, I forgot Volbeat. Oh, I'm even going to be it. That Volbeat is the one who does the, yep. paints the screen. Because this. they that were version sense. exclusives. Yeah. Yeah. Also, is Volbeat... In Pokemon Go, is Volbeat exclusive to certain countries? Because I have never once seen a Volbeat. So. I don't know. I've seen hundreds of, I've seen thousands of Elamise, but never any Volbeats. I, mean, I don't know. I'm sure there's something to it. Oh, that's okay. Fine. So well, you could have bought a points, ball. Saver. That's true. Yeah, I mean, you could have bought a ball saver, but it only would have lasted thirty seconds. Oh, sweet, you have the Pikachu thing. Oh, well, cool. Well, <laughs> bye. Thank you, Joe.
Appreciate it. Yeah, the music is so good in this game. Yes. I mean, a lot of it is from... Uh, yeah, well, a lot of it's from but games, a lot of but it's like really remixed. Good. And to yeah. be like lounge style. And, wow. and a lot of it is yeah. used in a new way. And this theme is a new way. You kind of have to be predictive with it. Like, try to use it as like a barrier sometimes. What, the, the shake? No, the flippers. Because okay. sometimes it'll fly down. If you don't, like, do anything, it'll just slide right in. But if you catch it, like, mid-swing, it'll stop it. So it's like, you have to, like... It's really weird. I can't really describe it. It's just kind of like you get a feel for it. Okay. Question about the Chin Chow and Low Tad. Is there a difference between how they function, or is it just slight sizes? Or even um, that? Sizes? Low, chin Chow moves uh, sometimes. Like, you can get them to move like that. Um, low tad or static? Yeah. Um, you, I think they can both change out which ones you get. But I know that the Chin Chow move, and I don't think the low tad move as much. Okay, or at all. I, yeah, I don't oh. know. I don't know if there's a version you can get with a move. Yeah, yeah you just pop balls. Yeah. I'm also. I, I keep doing that, and I'm sorry. I never look at the Latios. Yeah. Well, it's it for me. I always just catch the color, and I'm like, as long as I see like the smear of color, I'm like, oh, it's cool. It's not um, more translucent. Well, the other one doesn't have like color at all. Right. See, it's like just an outline. Oh, pink. oh no, shading. no, it's like there's just shading. It's like yeah, it. basically just shading. Yeah. It's strong. It's, it's the same color as the shadow. Of oh, the it's a one-time use only when it's the, just the. Um... Yeah, when it, when you don't have the oh, ex boy, special it's item. Oh boy, it's time. Uh, That's Pucci. Is that Pucci? Yep, Pucci. Yeah. Pucci. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi and Pucci's Woolly World. <laughs> That's coming to Switch, right? Or it's, uh, Yoshi's so no, that's Craft not Yoshi's World. Craft World. Yo, Yoshi's Craft World. Is Poochie gonna be in it? I believe Could be. so. I think I've seen him, but I'm not sure. Punch. That's yeah. a good way to also get it to avoid hitting the Linoon and knocking your Makahita out. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> nice, you got it. You just need to hit it three times. It's kind of a weird system. Like you think they would he reward looks so you with the. Sad. <laughs> you think they would reward you. <laughs> you think they would reward you with the extra yeah. hits? Like if you hit it three times on the road at the beginning, it does the automatic unlock. Oh, yes, but it's literally you hit it once and it unlocks one tile. You hit it twice, it unlocks two tiles. You hit it three times, it does. Yeah. And the third time you hit it, it unlocks three tiles every time. Weird. So you literally, even though it there are six tiles, you only three have times. to hit yeah, three times. Yeah, I noticed that. Which is weird. Yeah. But he's kind of sad. You got Pucci on it. Well, you got a Pucci. He looks a little uncomfortable. Like, he looks at he's <laughs> at a party, and somebody just said, like, he looks at, he's like, went with friends to a party, and one of them was just like, yeah, this movie's my favorite movie ever, and it's like a like a movie that is generally, like, deemed pretty trash or poor quality, <laughs> and he's just like, this Adam Sandler movie's my favorite, and it's like, oh. <laughs> no. But it's like, not one of the, like, the three or four that are considered good Adam Sandler good, movies. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the, like, bad it's, ones. It's not like, um... Billy, it's not happy. Gil it's not Ooh. Billy Madison or happy, um, happy Happy Madison. Happy Madison. Which is one is Billy which? Madison? Hey, Billy, it's up. Happy Gilmore, Billy Madison, but the the names of them form his company, Happy Madison. Right. Which one is Holy the um, which one's the golfing yeah. movie? That's um, Happy Gilmore. It's not Happy Gilmore. Yeah, or yeah. Fifty First Dates or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you, are you it's like Trump that's Trump my boy or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I was going to say, like are you thinking of Punch Drunk Love or or Jack Jack and Jill? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember the head exists. Is that, and Al Pacino's in it. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking weird. I, what I thought you were going to say... Oh! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, I couldn't oh, you, that. oh, yeah. You're... What I thought you were going to say was the, all oh. those movies spell out uh, Happy Madison. I was going to go like... That would be oh. fucking... <laughs> I was like, he actually has a fucking cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, do you want to go oh. get mad or do you want me to go? Uh... I'd like to go again. <laughs> okay, do you want to do Ruby or do you want to go for Sapphire? Go for Sapphire. I will go Sapphire. Cool. Um, yeah. It's like that one movie where he deals with his PTSD after 9-11 by playing Shadow of the Colossus. Yep. Rain What's Over it? Me? Yeah, Rain yep. Over oh Me. Does he play Shadow of the Colossus? <laughs> yes, literally Shadow of the Colossus. <laughs> is it like product placement? Yes, or it's it's I don't think it's... It might be because it's probably a Sony movie, but yes, it is quite literally named... Like, it is Shadow of the Colossus. It's not like a game that's like... Oh, that's like Shadow. It's literally Shadow of the Colossus. Mm -hmm. Is it any thematic importance to the film? Or? I mean, probably. Just like the type of game that it is. That is true. It's, you know, figuratively destroying a massive beast. Like, it's very symbolic oh, of dealing with mental illness. Fuck. Oh, I was going to say 9 11, but. That's so probably the destruction of a massive thing. Yeah. Like, and the feeling like you are conquering that destructive, un unbelievable force rather than, like, this horrible force beyond your control just destroying you and your own life. Wow. 
I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty. Wow. Yeah, that's it's really it doesn't take. Cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It okay. It doesn't take like a whole lot of like deep searching to like figure out that yeah, you can kind of like craft a pretty big theme off of a game like that. I mean, Shadow of Glasses does a lot of the groundwork on that because of how fucking cool of a game it is, but. I mean, like, I know Shadow Glass is a really good game, and I know it has a lot of those things like that. I just never thought about, like, you hear this game explicitly played in a movie, and you think it's just, like, that's really, you know, like, not cornball. Yeah, cornball. But it's like, or like, yeah. And so it's like, hearing it actually tie really closely into two different themes in that movie, or two different important elements of the movie, it's like, wow, it's really, really clever. Yeah. It's, I haven't seen Rain Over Me. I mean, I don't know how good it... I've heard it's pretty solid. I've yeah. heard that, too. I, it's decent. It's kind of like an underrated film, I've heard. Like, it's like... Not that it's amazing, but it's like... People are like, this is actually a pretty solid movie. And a lot yeah. of people don't really talk about it. Yeah. I, I haven't really seen it myself. I just... I, I just, like, get... And that's what I've heard from it. Right. But yeah, my, my that's my guess on why it's used. Because... Um, I mean, as I don't know how, really know the sales numbers of Child of Glasses that much, but I can't imagine it was like a oh, this is a big game that everybody lo-, you know what I mean? Like no, if I if a writer like put is. that in, you'd think they would have a purpose for putting it in. Yeah, and it's, it's just it's, the type it's of just game. Just now, he was playing. He was playing like a Call, Call of Duty World of War. Or yeah, something. yeah, <laughs> but but like it's also just the type of game where it's like a very artistic, moody tor- sort of game where it's like yes. somebody with a mental illness would play this type of game to cope. Yes. Like, because if it was like, oh, I played, like, Call of Duty or Battlefield or Medal of Honor, those just are, like, those don't fit the type of profile that somebody with PTSD would, like, want to play. You to, probably like, avoid that game with you. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Nah, I'll save it. Good thing he didn't play any of the, like, 50 games that got, like, delayed because, oh, hey, we had a horrible, like, building destruction mass destruction chaos scene in this game releasing like a week after 9-11. Oh god. Yep. There's like such a strangely high amount of games or movies that were just like fuck we have to postpone our shit. Well have you seen the list of songs that were banned from radio for a while because mm-hmm. of it? I, I can't remember this. I, I'm not as versed it, in the songs. It's at least a hundred. Yeah. That were like popular or in heavy circulation at the time. Like I think I think Kryptonite with Three Doors Down was taken off of radio for a bit. Oh, okay. That's one of the few that, like, at the time that I saw it in, like, high school, I recognized that. I'm just like, interesting. Anyway, Pokemon Pinball, guys. <laughs> yeah. What a I, great game. I, I was going to say, yeah. I, I remember that movie because we watched it We watched it in Spanish in Spanish class and Spanglish. Oh. Oh, Sp- oh interesting. Weird. Okay. Is Spanglish good? Yeah. 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 Okay. I would say it's probably, like, slightly less well-regarded than that one. Yes. But as Sandler Films goes, not, like, one of the ones that's considered, like, trash. Yeah. I, I just, I forgot about this one until the, uh, Binge of Babish did an episode on it. The uh, mm-hmm. what? Binge of Babish? Have you? No, no, I, what, what are you talking about? Spanglish. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm from the, I, I know who they are, but I haven't really watched any of their videos. His videos are pretty great. Yeah. I also have, I also have it's like a cooking co- show, right? Yeah, it's a cooking show based on like um, doing doing dishes from popular movies and shows. And then even oh, worse, okay. they did they did. I did not of, know that. Yeah, I thought it was just like making food. I didn't yeah, know it was like specific. Recently, making... he started doing like a basic cooking show just because a lot of people watch it and it's like, hey, this looks great, but how do I cook? <laughs> yeah. So he started doing that. But the show is oh, built so around yeah. like yeah. popular movies and shows. And even recently, he started doing a little bit video games. By which I mean, he did one Breath of the Wild. Oh, Breath of the Wild. He I made thought, the, he I made thought the you, were just, you would say Final Fantasy XV. No, like, no he, made, he made the Monster Cake. That's a reach. Okay. Nice. And they also wow. did like the... Um, oh, like the dubious? The purple Monster Cake. Oh, okay. I, not, I haven't made that. And they also did like a general like stir fry, like giant like pan block. Yeah. Nice. Which was really cool. Have... Yeah, have you seen the food in Final Fantasy XV? No. It is. It's dis- beautiful. disgustingly beautiful. That's <laughs> like awesome. you look at it and you're just like... I'm almost upset at how lovingly this food was rendered. <laughs> the thing is, is if Vinci Vapish did another episode, he'd probably do Final Fantasy. I, for game 15, related. maybe, yeah. Yeah. yeah you could put an easy, just, I've discovered a new recipe. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good show. He's done, the, he's done, yeah. He also made Krabby Patty, which is great. Oh, nice. <laughs> I mean, he did the basic thing, but he also did, like, here's how they do it in just normal ass in the show, but, like, if you want to make a really cool, unique burger, he has a couple of his own, like, variations on certain 
I um, saw flavored with like cheese and patties and stuff. Lisa showed me a great little video the other night on how they make the food look so presentable yes, for commercial this. shoots. And it's like, oh, so they're I basically see. like, oh, hey, pancakes, take them off the pan, put a pancake down, you put a piece of cardboard between one, pancake, cardboard, pancake, cardboard, yep. pancake, so it looks nice and fluffy. And then they, you just see the syrup being poured all over it, and they're like, yeah, it looks delicious. And then it cuts, and it's like, motor, it's motor oil. oil. <laughs> yep. doesn't absorb into the pancake. <gasps> I yeah. saw that same thing. I was just like, oh, I boy. saw a great <laughs> soda Twitter. for beer. Like dish soap, yeah. you put it in the beer, and then it makes it foam really huge. Yeah, I saw a great uh, series of tweets that I'm looking up now because it's um, because it had a really great breakdown about like when and where you'd see this get used more. Yeah, or like I how. Think, I think I did. You like that tweet? Because I think I yeah, Dan Olson. Yeah. Okay. Um, the guy who has <laughs> the sign up from the the Pikachu trailer as his yeah. avatar right now because. <laughs> I do, I, I'm warming up more and more to the art style for the Pikachu. The one Pokemon that I'm not quite on board with yet is Psyduck. How he looks. I actually was fine with Psyduck. Um, that was fine. I, you know, a lot of people like it. I don't really like how Greninja looks, honestly. I think it looks kind of, eh. Okay. Um, I mean, he looks very, not that, not that different. Yeah. Um, but it's more like, he looks so much like a frog that it's like kind of creepy to me, I guess. Like his, t like the, the texture. Um, oh, yeah. Like, it, it's, it's just, like, his is kind of, like, Uncanny valley -y. Um, also, uh, Charizard. Yeah, yeah it's, he's, he's just a little up, too... Yeah, I haven't warmed up to him yet. Yeah, he's just Some a little too really much. Some people like it. I'm not with it yet. He's just a little too scary. And I'm yes. like, Charizard is scary, but I feel like that Charizard in that trailer is what people remember Charizard as... You know, and I think it does capture the feeling of how you look at Charizard when you're younger. But for me, I kind of look at Charizard as a little doofier now. Especially since it's supposed to be like 4 foot 11 or something. Or 5 foot 4. Right, he's only like 5 feet high. He's, yeah. he's like right around my height. Damn, like 5 that's foot 6. A, that's, that's the pain. Yep. I tried catching it. The pain! <laughs> the pain! The pain! Now that's my jam, dog.